To balance this equation, HClO3 plus BaOH2, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one hydrogen plus we have this one hydrogen here times the two. So we have two hydrogens there. Total of three. Chlorines, we have one. Oxygens, we have the three. And this two applies to everything in parentheses. So two times the one gives us two more. So we have five oxygens and then one barium. On the product side, we have the two hydrogens, two times the one, so two chlorines. Oxygens, two times three, that's six, plus the one with the oxygen, don't forget that, gives us seven and one barium. Let's balance the chlorines first, see what happens there. We have two here and one here, so we'll put a coefficient of two in front of the HClO3. So now we need to update these things here. We have one times the two for the hydrogens, plus these two right here. So now we have four hydrogens, and that's good. This is an even number that might help us out. One times the two for the chlorines, two chlorines, so those are balanced. Oxygens, three times two, that's six, plus two times the one, two there. So now we have eight, and the barium's the same. We could fix the hydrogens, that might even fix the oxygens, if we put a coefficient of two, in front of the H2O. Now we have two times two, that'll give us four. So the hydrogens are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. We had two times the three, so we had six, plus we had one times the two, and that gives us eight, and that balances this equation. The key to this one is really be careful when you're counting up your hydrogens and your oxygens. That's a place people often make errors. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for chloric acid plus barium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.